Breaking news out of Dolphin County. Crews are on the scene of a large fire in Halifax. Kayla Schmidt is live at the scene with brand new information. And Kayla, you were saying that this fire really, really intense at times. Yes, good morning to both of you. Firefighters actually just completed a wet down, they tell me, which is after they pour a bunch of water onto the initial building that first sparked fire and they're going to see if it sparks again. While we wait, they are also taking a break to reassess and we want to show you how strong that fire like you sat said Allie really was. It actually went across the heat, went across the railroad tracks, melting the siding on this building. The sec now a few more updates for people that are curious and live in the area. Second Street in the borough is back open for morning commuters. And like you said, officials are calling it suspicious and it's being investigated by PSP as none of the homes had electricity and were being renovated. So it was impossible for them to really catch fire. Assistant Fire Chief Matthew Harrell tells us they were dispatched at 2.23 a.m. to Armstrong and North Front Streets. Officials have confirmed no injuries and tell us all of the buildings were unoccupied. Harold says crews are working to get power back on for residents if your power is not back on already and is thankful to the over 20 fire companies that help respond. Nobody's displaced, no firemen were injured, everything sort of went according to textbook plan. We had community members coming up asking if we could needed anything, getting us water. I mean, it's, it's huge. It, it really is. Um, you know, for them to come out at 2 o'clock in the morning and, and give us a hand. So this really was a community effort. We will be staying on scene all morning and we'll report any new updates to you as we receive them. Live in Halifax, Kayla Schmidt, ABC 27 News. All right, thank you so much, Kayla, for that update from Halifax this morning.